Hello again. It's Friday, and hopefully by now you're all as convinced as I am that bats are pretty amazing animals uh, that we should be trying to help out and save. I mentioned earlier that one of the biggest threats bats face is their poor public image. A lot of people are afraid of them. So the number one thing that you can do to help bats is to be a good ambassador. By telling people how amazing bats are and telling them not to be afraid of them, you can help change people's perception and help bats out as a whole. You can also help a lot by reporting when you see bats. If you go to the website batwatch.ca, you can report bat roosts or if you see bats flying around or around caves. And that's a really helpful thing for you to do because as bat researchers, it's really hard for us to find bat roosts and find where the bats are living. So if people tell us when they have bats in their houses, it gives us the potential to come and study those bats and learn more about them. Reporting roosts is particularly helpful to do in South Bruce and the surrounding area. The zoo's bat program and the Nuclear Waste Management Organization have joined together to study bats across southern Ontario, including the South Bruce area. That's so that we can learn more about the different species of bat that live there. The Nuclear Waste Management Organization has an ongoing commitment to protecting the environment, which includes people, plants, animals, and even the bats within it. Thank you for joining me this week to learn about Ontario's bats. And if you're ever in the area, I hope you have time to stop by to learn more about our efforts to conserve bats and all the other species within the zoo.